Hi everyone. Okay, so this is the beginning of my Amazon Returns bin store haul for this week. Um, I did go on $2 day to one of the bin stores. Um, I was just curious to see what they had, so I kind of would have an idea of what to look for on $1 day. Um, but I ended up not going back to that store um, the next day for $1 day because I did end up buying stuff, but that's okay. I mean, if it's $2. So in no particular order, the first thing I found was this. It's a beef stroganoff um, with noodles and it's a protein pack. So I was kind of curious about this. Actually, hold on. No, this was not on $2 day. This was on $1 day. I'm sorry. So I got this one actually um, yesterday. So got that. Let me find something that was on $2 day. Hold on here. Yeah, here we go. So this was on $2 day. I did not know that um, this had come out, the uh, Happy Planner stickers for uh, Bridgerton. For some reason, I just didn't know. I, you know, I, I hadn't been going to Hobby Lobby for a while, um, very inconsistently in the past couple of years, because there just really isn't anything that I'm interested in over there. And I only go when I really need like something specific. So I was pretty excited to find this because, you know, Bridgerton, the season three is going to be coming out this month and um, I'm going to get all back into it again. But I just, I like, you know, the look of this, the whole, is it, it's Victoria, no, 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 Edwardian, isn't it? Is it Edwardian? Yeah. So um, I like this whole look and this will kind of work well with some of the ATCs and the um, tags that I've been making. So yeah, not bad, two bucks and it's intact and as far as like all of the, um, the stickers are there. Uh, let's see. Dang. Oh yeah. I bought a lot on actually, now that I'm looking, I bought a lot on $2 day, which is kind of funny. Oh, uh, not $2 day. I'm sorry. $1 day. So you know what? Screw it. It'll all just say if it's $2, $2 or $1. So I found this book yesterday for $1 day. Where is my cutter? Uh, I'll just use scissors. So I'm a big fan of the Glass of Throne um, series from Sarah J. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Mace or Ma, Ma Zahu, whatever. But I've read all of the books and I want to kind of get the entire set of hardcover, but um, it's pretty pricey. I should have jumped on it when I did see it on Macari one time for, I think it was 70 bucks because everywhere else now, when I look, it's over like 130 or more, but, um, yeah, I've all, like I said, I've read the entire series, but I, I definitely want to have this, um, in terms of like, just, you know, to have in hand. Cause I mean, I could download it to my Kindle, but sometimes I do want to read it, you know, in book form. So not bad for a, a dollar, right? Um, another hydro, so I have a hydration pack here. Um, I actually have two, but this one I got for, when did I get this one? Yesterday. So I got this for a dollar. I always need these for when I go work out at the gym and I'm okay with trying different ones. My favorite one to, um, drink is the prime, but I don't buy the bottles. I always get the, the packets or sachets and this one I've never tried but I like the fact that it's got three different flavors mixed berry strawberry and orange um, I'm excited to try the orange and the mixed berry because a lot of the ones I keep finding always have strawberry and you know after a while you get tired of this the same flavor so on that same vein I found another one of these pure IV packs um, this one is passion fruit so even though it's only just one flavor, I've never had anything with passion fruit. So, and this one has 16, this one has also 16, but this one I got for $2. There was another pack. Um, and I almost got both, but I decided, Hmm, I'll just go ahead and just get one. Cause I don't know if I'm going to like the flavor or not. So, um, so I'm pretty set in terms of like, uh, hydration, you know, packets, because the other one that I got that was the same brand was in strawberry, I think. So like I said, you see why I'm kind of like getting a little tired of strawberry. Okay. I did get some other food items. So it's funny. 
this one right here, this was a dollar. I've actually never tried this brand. I've seen this at Trader Joe's, but I've never tried this brand. It's a stupid sticker is co covering it, but I think it's Amy's and it's a lentil vegetable. Um, so I'm willing to try it just, you know, just to see how it tastes. So I got that. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, okay. So there is one thing that's missing, but I'm going to get that in a bit. So I found this pack of Ghirardelli chocolates. The bag was open, but it had all the chocolates in it right here. And I got this for just $1. The chocolates are still good. You know, it's just that the bag was not just, it was, yeah, not intact. But I didn't mind paying a buck for this, right? There's another box of chocolates, but I opened it last night to sample it. Um, let me go and get it. Okay, so the other box that I found was this Russell Strover one, and it was actually unopened. I've already opened it, but um, I got this one also for a dollar, and these are the different flavors that it came with. So I'm PMSing. Actually, yeah, I'm PMSing right now, so I don't know why, but I'm craving chocolate, a lot of it. So that's, uh, that's what I'm having. This I also found for a dollar. I'm giving this to my niece. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can get this camera out. Oh, nope. It's because it's raised up. Let me take some of the stuff out because it's in the way here. Okay. So it is a puzzle set of a thousand pieces. It's called Dreamy Garden. And my I know that my nieces love puzzles, especially during the summer and Christmas vacation. You know, they're trying to pass time. So I thought um, to go ahead and pick this up so that they can work on it since summer vacation is starting. I have one niece, her vacation is starting actually next week because she's in honor. She won't have to do her finals and she gets to go ahead and just be out of school next week. Um, the other one is in middle school and I think she's got two more weeks to go. So yeah, I'll give that to them probably closer towards the end of the month. And then that way, um, when both of them are at home, because their brother will be over in summer camp, you know, they can work on that. So this I also found yesterday. It is, um, it was for a dollar. And these are jump rings. And they're different size jump rings. I don't know how many are in there, but there's a lot. And I was very pleased that it's silver because that's usually what I need. I don't need gold because I don't wear a lot of gold. Um, but for a dollar, this is not bad at all, you know? And I like that it came in its own little case. It's kind of funny because it's like a pill case. At first I was like confused because like I said, I saw it as a pill case and I was kind of like, what is that in there? And then upon closer inspection, I realized what it was. So yeah, let me get up really close so you can see the different sizes. So we got teeny tiny to big ones. So it's always good to have on hand. You never know. Okay. Um, I found this. Now, I don't really do my lashes. Um, but in the future, I do plan on getting my lashes done. But I, my sister, one of my sisters, does is starting to get her lashes done and stuff. And I thought this was really interesting. It's an eyelash cleanser, um, cleansing base. I've never heard of this brand. But I know that sometimes, you know, when you're getting your lashes done, you still have that stuff that they use to, um, it, you know, the adhesive still stuck on the lashes. So this will be interesting um, for both of us to try. I don't know. I may just give it to my sister. So like I said, oh, okay. So it's a spray. Maybe this is to get it off of the, um, the lashes themselves. I don't know. But either way, Sugar Lash is the name was for a dollar. I was looking to see if they had any more in the bins, but it was the only one that I found because if they had another one, I would have bought two. Um, <laughs> this one was really a big surprise to find. So my favorite band, one of my favorite bands of all time, Duran Duran. I've loved them since the 80s. Um, and especially this album. I haven't opened it, as you can see, but you can probably also see that the case is probably smashed a bit. So I'm not going to open this on camera because all of these pieces will probably get all over the place. But I am just really hoping that the um, CDs are intact. 
Um, it looks like it's got a lot of different, there's gotta be more than one. Yeah. There's gotta be more than one because it's like, look at that. There's so many different, um, songs on there or versions of the songs. So really happy to see that. It's weird how they're starting to get a lot of CDs now. Um, I found this one on $2 day. So I do not like K-dramas and K-pop, but I have nieces that do. And one of them is really big into, um, especially K-pop. And um, I recognize this one because I remember I had to buy some um, Lomo cards. That's what this is uh, for her when I was in San Francisco. So this is SKZ Mini World. I don't know if that's an album or what. But anytime I find these um, over at the bin stores, I always get them. And she's always happy, you know, to receive them. So, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this and not give it to her until next month because her birthday is next month. Actually, this is Stray Kids. Okay, 2023 seasons. All right, so this is more recent. There are 55 pieces in there, 55 cards. Stray Kids is one of her um, favorite bands. I know that. So, so happy to find that. And I'm glad that I, every time I go, when I do find it, nobody, there's always, you know, I always find um, these K-pop cards because it seems like a lot of the people that shop at these bin stores are probably, they just don't listen to that music. So that's why I always end up finding them on like on dollar day or even 50 cent day, which is really good. Okay. So this box, it's a good thing that this box was open because otherwise I would never have um, looked at it. Um, it was kind of like partially open. Well, first of all, I took the sticker that over, was over it off. Um, and usually it's a sticker like this, I, you know, they always cover the description. So it's kind of hard to tell what it is if the box is closed, but it was kind of open like this. And I saw it at first glance and I was like, wow, switches. So these are, um, these are switches for a mechanical keyboard. And as I've said in the past before, and I've shown that I do like mechanical keyboards. So I had never bought of these. Uh, I've never bought these type of switches. And this one is a silent one, which is going to be interesting. So when you're typing, there's not going to be any click at all. So I think there's, I'm not sure how many pieces there are because this one doesn't even say, oh, there's 90 perfect because most of the keyboards that I have are like the ones that I like with the knob. I think there's 70, how many keys is that? 78, 75, something like that. So I know that I'm going to have plenty of key, um, of switches for that. Okay. Let's move some of this out. And I got this for a dollar as well. No, I'm sorry. $2. That was on $2 day. Okay, so I've got two left here. Now this, you're probably wondering, why did I pick this up? Well, for one thing, I got this on dollar day. And the reason why I picked it up is because I'm going to use it as a trash bin here at my desk. Um, because when I'm crafting and I always have like a lot of like little pieces and I hate having to turn and extend to throw it away in the trash can. Um, that's not exactly right next to my desk. And so this will be easier for me to just like, you know, pick up the pieces, throw it in here. I'll put a little um, plastic bag in here, probably reuse the bags, you know, like when you get um, fruit or vegetables at the grocery store. Um, we have like a lot of those and my dad tends to use those for our little compost pail. Um, so then that way it's easy for him to dump. So since we have a ton of those bags, I know that it'll fit in here. So yeah, so that's why I got this because I was looking for something that I could use as a desk trash can. So this is perfect. It's wide, you know. Okay, I don't know what it was intended for originally. It was just there in the bin. And the last thing that I got was this notebook. Now, I don't typically buy notebooks from the bin store. I see tons of them sometimes. In fact, it was kind of funny because on $2 day, I did find this like, um, letter size, uh, notebook. And I don't know, it ha I can't remember the name or the brand of it. It had an emblem on the front, but it was for like health. It was like health related. And I almost got it 
right? Because I, when I opened it up, I kind of opened it up to the middle and I was like, oh, okay, health related. This is perfect because then I can use it to, you know, like keep track of my glucose and stuff like that. And then when I was at the end, when I was done going through all the bins, I always edit my cart, so to say, and I was going through all of the stuff again. Do I really want this or not? And when I got to the, um, the journal or um, the notebook, I just went to the first couple of pages and somebody wrote in them and returned the journal, returned the book back to Amazon. And I was like, Oh my God. And they had like, like they had used like maybe the first 10 pages, you know, they had wrote like what their glucose was and you know, what they ate and stuff like that. I could not believe, like, I would never do that. I would never like write in a journal that I ordered from Amazon and then like, Oh, you know what? This ain't going to work out for me. And then return it. Holy shit. That's like personal information too. I mean, I didn't check to see if the person had wrote their name, but still the fact that they returned a used journal like that. So that's probably why it ended up at the bin store because obviously the seller couldn't resell it. So anyway, so I saw this on dollar day and the only reason why I got it and it's dot grid. I don't really care for the orange, but the pages, the paper is really thick and very smooth. And so I wanted to try this with fountain pens um, because I want to kind of like catalog the inks. I was originally going to do it in a traveler's notebook, but um, I don't think the paper that I have, I know that if, if I use an actual traveler's company insert, the paper will probably be fine because I think it's Midori paper that they use, but this one is much more thicker and I know that it's not going to bleed through, but I, I guess I'll have to test it. You know, we'll just have to see, maybe I'll just do it on the last page or something and see if there's any bleed through because I want to do like the ink swatches, you know, and, um, and then also catalog like the pens that I have. I don't have a big collection and I don't have expensive pens. Like the most expensive pen I think I have is like 40 bucks probably, or something like that. I think actually the most expensive pen I have is like a Twisby. Okay. And that's not even expensive, but, um, I really want to just, you know, catalog the inks that I have. I don't have a lot of inks, but still, I want to just, you know, be able to like look and see it's like, oh, okay, so that's how this pen writes with that ink kind of thing. I mean, I, there's so many pages, so um, I could literally just do a page, one page for the ink and then for each pen, each time that I try, you know, the ink with that pen, then I can just go ahead and just um, test it on here. So yeah, I mean, not bad for a dollar. It has a little pen loop and then there's a folder. I think there's even stickers. Yeah. Oh, there's a stencil. That's even better. I haven't even looked up on Amazon to see what this would go for because it, it was not in the packaging. It was just, you know, straight out like that. So there's no brand or anything on it. Um, so yeah, I, I have no idea how much this would go for on Amazon, but it's not bad. You know, it's a pleather um, cover and it has a lot of sheets. So yeah, not bad for a dollar, right? All right, so then these are all the things I got for $2 and $1. Um, today is 50 cent day at um, one of the stores. And I I don't know, I might go, but I'm pretty sure at this point now, um, they probably don't have a lot because it's already uh, lunchtime. <laughs> and the best time to always go on those lower price days is right at opening. So um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I've got uh, some other things that I'm going to do. Um, I'm, I'm so, I was supposed to get up early and go to the DMV and get my driver's license renewed because it expires next month. And since I'm not working right now, this is the perfect time for me to go and do that stuff. And I did try to go yesterday, but um, I sat there for 30 minutes when I had checked in the walk-in check-in. And, you know, I mean, I didn't mind waiting. If I was going to have to wait two hours, it's fine. But when one of the employees came up and made an announcement, very apologetically, um, she said it very nicely. She's like, sorry, but our internet went down and we have no idea when it's going to come back up and we don't know when it comes back up if it's going to be fast. So at that point, I was like, you know what? I went on my phone and I just like um, checked out because I, I was like, I'm not going to sit here and wait and then wonder how long, you know, they're going to be without internet. So I thought, OK, I'll get up early tomorrow morning and go um, and try to get this done. Well, I woke up around five because our house was shaking from the thunder that <laughs> was rumbling 
across the sky. And I knew that we were supposed to have a very big storm today. I just wasn't sure if it was supposed to be in the morning or what. And apparently it's, um, that was not the storm. This one was just a minor storm because I got up, went and got my phone, turned it on, checked the radar. And um, yeah, it was not this, that's not the storm that they've been talking about. The storm is actually tonight. And it's like a, it's like a freaking level three, which is not good because that's definitely hail for sure. And we'll be under a tornado watch. Um, actually this morning we were under a tornado watch, but um, yeah, but still the threat was not as bad. So uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to stay up for at least half the storm uh, just to be sure, you know, everything, everything's okay. Cause my parents will probably be asleep. And, um, that way, if something is, you know, if there is a tornado, at least I can, you know, run down, get them up and we can take cover. Um, but yeah, I was going to, like I said, I was going to get up early and go and get my driver's license renewed. But because it was storming, I was like, because I woke up again around 7.30 and it was still storming. And I was like, that place opens at 8.30. And the last thing I want to do is be driving in the rain with it, wind and the rain that hard. I was like, screw it. I'll just go Friday <laughs> instead. Get up early. All right. So I'll be back again with what I get on 50 cent day. Well, actually, no, no. I'm sorry. One dollar day and 50 cent day at another store. Okay. So I'm back. It's now Thursday and it is $1 a day at one of the other bin stores. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I was able to get. Um, I was able to get there um, right at opening at nine o'clock. And good thing I did because I was able to get a lot of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you, um, it's kind of funny because I saw the box and there was really no label. This label that was um, on it here was kind of covered. So I couldn't really read what it said. So I had to wait um, basically until I was done going through all the bins and then go to the um, table where I could open it. And I was kind of surprised. I guess the reason why I picked this box is because the size of it was kind of like size of a pen. And good thing I did because it's a it's basically a fountain pen. Um, it's a glass fountain pen. And this is beautiful. It comes with its own stand. OK. And it actually came with some ink as well. And I think it's a shimmer ink. So I looked this up on Amazon and it's going for like maybe 12 or $13, but it's beautiful and it's intact. So let's see. I took this off earlier. I haven't tried it yet. Um, the only glass pens that I have are the ones that Dollar Tree released. Was it last year or the year before? And that actually worked well for me. I just haven't used it since I bought it. And I have like maybe two other ones that are still in the packaging, but this one's pretty nice. I, I like the feel of it. And so I'm going to ink it up later and see how it is. And if it works out well, then I will just use this when I do the ink swatches because um, it'll be a lot easier for me to do them and not have to ink up an actual fountain pen. So I want to show you what I did with um, that notebook that I got yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was. So this is the orange notebook, right? And I said I was going to use this for fountain pen ink swatches. And I went ahead and did this. So I already had this stamp that I purchased from Japantown last year. And I was going to, that's what I was going to use it for. It was basically to kind of ink it up um, as a sample and then write to the side um, what the ink is, right? And do a test. So actually this notebook, the paper held up pretty well. It's only, it only bled through in the back because this right here, I had like went over it again twice. So it was pretty wet, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it once like these right here. And now I can go ahead and use that glass pen to do the sampling on the side because I have three pins that were already inked up with this. Um, actually, this one right here is inked up with this one right, this uh, diamine ink in Dark Forest. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that I found this. But that is not the only ink, um, or rather fountain pen item that I found. And I will show you, hold on here, let me grab the bag. Uh, 
it's probably all the way at the bottom, so I'll just show you when I get to it. Um, I did find this. This is a dollar. Now, this is like some Japanese cotton tissue, and I'm not going to use it for tissue, like for my nose. This actually I'm going to use for crafting because it was interesting. It's um, textured, and this will be good at, for like even like cleaning like um, rubber stamps or acrylic stamps. Uh, I know that they had two at one point, and I guess somebody had bought the other one, and that probably was like on Sunday, because that's when I went there and I saw it, and I didn't see the other bag since. This was the only one that was left. So I'm really happy that, oh, it's actually for cosmetic. Cosmetic facial dry wipes. Well, it's okay, because I want to use it for um, cleaning my stamps. I've got plenty of cosmetic <laughs> cleaning stuff. Okay, so found these. So the um, cables that I found, the one that I was going to give my mom to try for her um, iPhone, it didn't work when she plugged it in. So that's okay. But these are also lightning and it's got the audio jack. So I'm going to see if this will work. Um, there are two in there and it was only a dollar. So hopefully that works so she can use her wired um, earbuds. Uh, I found this. It's funny because the lady before me, when she was checking out, when we were checking out, actually had found the other one. So this is wallpaper. It says it's peel and stick wallpaper. Okay. And um, I liked the design on here. And I was thinking of using this as a backdrop for when I have to do product pictures or something like that. I've got like foam board here on the side. And this is what um, this is, is foam board with the uh, um, adhesive sheets from Dollar Tree. This is only a dollar and there's a good amount on there. So um, yeah, whenever I find something like that, it's only a dollar. And if it's a nice design, then I'll go ahead and I'll pick that up because I always want to have different um, backdrops. Got this. Um, this is by Quiche. It's a scalp exfoliator. One of my nieces was saying that she wanted um, something like this. So I was pretty happy to find this. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, this was like a last minute thing I threw in my bag because I found it. It was open, but it's a lanyard with like an ID and then, um, it's got, I forgot what you call these things, but it's got a lot of, um, you know, things you can clip on. So I might give it to one of my nieces if they need something like this. It's a really pretty design. It's uh, all succulents. Um, Let's see. So I have shown these in the past when I have purchased them, but these are the loop earbuds um, or ear plugs, sorry. And I have been selling them um, over on Macari. So I've been picking them up for like a dollar or 50 cents and I'm able to sell them for like $20, which is great. So I was happy that they had another they had some more of these because it's been a couple weeks. They haven't been selling any. They haven't been getting any in. And um, there was one more that I had found, but when I had opened it to check if everything was there, it, um, the ear um, cups or whatever you want to call them were missing. And then the actual loop buds were broken, um, which was really disappointing. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So those are the different sizes that you can um, change them out to, to fit your ear. And then this is what the loops look like. So they're really soft, soft silicone. Um, these are really like pale. Oh, and they have them actually backwards. So, but these go for like 25 to 35, you know, 40, $40, I think, depending on, the, you know, the ones that you pick out. These are just the basic ones that you can use for sleeping. I mean, if you want to drown out, you know, snoring um, or just external noises. Um, and yeah, the silicone is like really, really soft. So I was happy to find more of the mint ones because those tend to sell pretty well. Let me get this to close. Okay. And then this one was swinging silver. I'm not going to open it, but yeah. So I got that. Um, I found, here it is. I found some ink, um, for a fountain pen. It just says tr modern traditional ink information carrier. There's no brand, but I'm hoping 
that this is um, going to fit in one of my, um, I think it's the Koveco, 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 there we go, um, because I don't have a converter for it, and I only have this one, but this one goes with the uh, platinum ones, so yeah, I just hope that it'll work, but it's this like really bright, blah, really bright blue, not that much of a fan of like that particular color, but you know, at least I got that whole pack for a dollar, but I'll go ahead and I'll put it on there anyways. Um, found this. It's an indoor humidity and temperature monitor. So I actually wanted to use this outside in the summer so that, that way I'd know how much humidity we have. So it's on right now. And there we go. So it's the current temperature here in this room. It's 74.1 with the humidity inside as 56%. I'm not sure what kind of battery it uses, but this actually would help in, if I went to the Philippines because then that way I know inside the house what the uh, temperature and the humidity would be. Because um, it's really, really humid there in the summertime. And at my mom's house that she built, we only have air conditioning in the bedrooms. We don't have it in the rest of the house. They don't, central heating is not really something that you have over there unless I guess you're mega rich or whatnot. But um, yeah, so everybody just gets by with like fans and even ceiling fans are not even a thing there because we, I just thought it was so strange that couldn't really find um, places that not only would sell the ceiling fans, but would install it you know, because it would make more sense to have a ceiling fan than like floor, you know, fans. And that's what a lot of people tend to use. Okay. So I found this, these are two acrylic, um, bookmarks and I thought they were really pretty because they're, um, pressed flowers. Let me turn it over. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're just really, really pretty. I like them. Um, I'll probably give this to my nieces cause I don't really need, um, bookmarks but I couldn't pass it up because it was just too pretty and it's just a dollar for a pair uh let's see what else we got here I'm trying not to pull out my gloves don't need that okay so I got these for my nieces because whenever they come over they always like need something for their hair they both have long hair so these are the no snag elastics by quiche it's a good brand uh Let's see. I have like a lot of small stuff this time. So I found this. These are pens. I did not open it when I was at the store because um, I didn't really need to look at it. I just know that they're um, vision. Wait, hold on here. Let me cut this open. I don't even know what kind of pen. If it's gel or ballpoint. I hope it's not ballpoint because I hate ballpoint. So they're four in a pack. And there, they're Uniball Air. That's what it was. And they're blue, but that's okay. Okay, that's, still don't know what that is. <laughs> Let me get some paper. Hold on here. All right. Now, if you can see, I'm going to test it here. That's weird. It's almost like it is felt, I think. Yeah, because I don't see like, um, I don't see a nib. So I guess it's kind of like, I would almost say like a Sharpie. I'm going to have to look these up because I've never heard of um, the Uniball Air before. So... If it's like a Sharpie, then that's fine. I'll, I don't mind that. I'll definitely stick one in my purse because sometimes when I have to mail stuff and I'm at the post office, I always need, um, I always need like a Sharpie or some sort. Okay. So these are all the items that I was able to get today, um, at the bin store. So tomorrow is 50 cent day. So hopefully they'll have stuff. They didn't have as well. They had they still had a sizable amount when I left, but 
um, yeah, let's see what they have left tomorrow. Okay, bye. All right, so I'm back. It's Friday, 50 cent day. So I haven't even really cleared off the desk here, um, the table, but I will say that I looked up these Uniball Airs and they're actually roller balls, which is kind of surprising because it does not feel like a roller ball, but they said that it's kind of similar when you write with it to a um, fountain pen. That's kind of interesting. So eager to try that. I'll probably give one to my dad. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and show you what I did get on 50 cent day. Um, this is a repurchase because I gave some to my coworkers when I was still working. So this is a multi memo board. Now you stick this on the side of a monitor, okay? So you can put all your post-its of stuff, you know, usually everybody like sticks it around, um, like on the bottom of a monitor. I had tons of those because it was always like mostly um, like the insurances that we took or like a specific insurance maybe that a provider took or like phone numbers to various uh, clinics, you know, things like that. That was just really quick for me to be able to look and then like, you know, so I didn't have to turn around and look at the whiteboard next to me um, where I had, you know, wrote down some other information. So you can put, you know, this one I'm pretty sure has a pack of probably four because I think it's two for each side from what I remember but this is not bad for 50 cents I don't know what this goes for on Amazon but um, I always like having this because I eventually will have to get I think I've said before um, an, a monitor for my laptop uh, so that way you know I can um, stick stuff on the side so I'm just glad that it you know, that this is not just for, you know, like one side, because sometimes, you know, like I worked with two monitors at work and um, I wasn't, I wouldn't uh, be able to use like the right side of one of the external monitors because it was like, you know, my monitors were kind of like this. So I had one um, on each side, so to say, for each monitor, like one on the left and then one on the right. But yeah, for 50 cents, like I said, not bad. So the next thing that I found, and it's kind of funny, hold on here, my sister is blowing up my phone. Um, okay, so the next thing I found, which is kind of ironic, I don't know why I didn't see this yesterday, but then, um, yeah, I didn't see this yesterday. So it says ink cartridges on this box, okay, 60 pieces. I was thinking probably like, you know, gel, pen, ink cartridge, um, refills or something like that. No. So when I got to the table to open it, oh my gosh. And I saw that one was missing. I was like, wait a minute. That looks kind of familiar. Yep. It's a box of these <laughs> and they're all blue. Oh, I was hoping that, you know, at least they would be blue and black, but they're all blue, but that's okay. So I have 60 cartridges of this and I still have not um, taken the time to see if it's going to fit. I hope that they're universal. So that way um, I can try it with some of my other fountain pens, but yeah, it's like I showed um, yesterday, well, yesterday it's the blue cartridges. So we'll see. So I got this whole box here for 50 cents in that one little box for a dollar. So basically I spent a dollar 50 on this. Okay. So let's see. I only got four things today. They didn't really have a lot and there were a lot of people. So I've got to go and see if this is the same one that um, I bought a couple weeks ago. Um, it is a micro, um, micro roller, a derma roller, micro blade or micro, not blade, micro needle. This one is 0.25. So the needle on here is even... Um, smaller. I'm going to probably have to zoom. Yeah, there we go. Let me get up closer. I don't know if you can see that. So um, since I'm starting out, I wanted to get the, the smallest needle. So I've, yeah, like I said, I've got one of these, but I don't know if it's 0.25 or 0.50. If it's the same thing as what I've got before, then I'll ask my sisters if they want one of them to try. So I'm going to disinfect this with um, alcohol and then try it. I did try the other one and it was kind of interesting. Um, 
So you just do it really on your cheeks. And I'm, I'm just wondering if this is going to help with my excessive oiliness. You know, even at my age, I'm st I've still got the excessive oiliness, which is pr actually a good thing because then, you know, I don't have wrinkles. Um, and of course, the last item, which is a very small packet. So I saw this yesterday, but I didn't get it. But today, 50 cents. So it's by Quiche and it is a beauty bar bag. Now I think this is for their, um, probably their shampoo bars, but you know, you don't have to use it for shampoo. You can use it for soap bars. I think I do have some shampoo bars and if I don't, I think it's my mom who has it that I gave some to. So I might give this to her. She is actually going to be traveling in the next two weeks, she's going to Vegas to stay with relatives for a week. And then they're all going on a cruise to Alaska um, for 12 days. So she's going to be gone for about three weeks. Good Lord. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to wash it. So somebody used it with a purple shampoo bar. So the instructions are right here on how to put it in. So you basically put the bar in and then you would pull this, hold on, no, you would pull this side through and then you can hang it like that. So, and then, you know, when you're washing, you just do that. You just to get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to definitely clean this, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not like those other mesh um, soap uh, socks, you know that um, this one is like a very, very fine one, which is pretty good, especially probably for like a shampoo bar. So yeah, I'm going to wash that before I give it to her. So that concludes all of the stuff that I got at the bin stores this week. Um, yeah, I actually, um, good thing that I did pick these up yesterday because I sold another one online on Macari today. So I need to go ahead and ship that off today. And it's, uh, it's kind of annoying because of the storms that we've been having. Sorry about that. The battery died and I'm about to end this video. Okay. So as I was saying, um, we've been having a lot of bad weather this past week. Um, we had rain for basically, uh, three days. Uh, was it three days? Did Monday have rain? No, Monday didn't, but Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, with Wednesday night being the worst, well, here in uh, Memphis, because um, we were under a tornado watch and then a tornado warning, and yeah, it was pretty bad. We were supposed to get, like, large hail, but thankfully where I live, we didn't, because the brunt of the storm hit um, basically most of the areas, like, right, um, right off of the Mississippi River. So they got the winds and probably the hail and got their power knocked out. So... Um, Anyways, a lot of this bad weather here, like Midwest, Oklahoma, Texas, like that, the mail, I'm pretty sure the mail has been disrupted because I looked at the tracking. I have sold now since last week, five of these. And um, a lot of them, the tracking is just like, they're just stuck at the post office, not here, thankfully, but where they're located. So that's probably the reason why, um, yeah, it just hasn't moved. And still waiting to get payment on those five. So I just sold one again today. I haven't even looked to see where this, uh, the buyer is at, but hopefully they're not in like the Eastern side of the U S and probably hopefully in the West. So they'll get their stuff faster. So, um, that's probably about another $150. It's just, I'm just waiting to get paid from all of the ones that I've sold. So anyways, um, yeah, that's why I'm always on the lookout for these because they sell pretty well and pretty fast. All right. So I hope you guys have had a great week and a great day. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye.